What is up guys and welcome back to F1 2019. It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Uh, I think it's literally been about two weeks since I've uploaded a video on this game. And for that I, I sincerely apologize. I have fallen in love very much with Gran Turismo Sport and also Toka Race Driver 3. Hopefully you guys are enjoying both of those series. You know, the people that do tune into those absolutely love it. So hopefully uh, you guys can uh, check it out if you haven't given it a chance already. But here we are once again for an F1 2019 online video. Uh, this is uh, a race which I had, uh, well, literally a month ago, I think. So uh, I was relatively uh, new to my new brake pedal, which I was using, which is a load cell. That is important to note for what might happen later on, not spoiling anything at all. But here we are for Baku, five red lights, and away we go for simulation damage. Uh, 13 laps of survival is the aim of the game here at Baku. This is the series where I was uh, continuing on from uh, the Monaco race that I did, and then I think we did Canada as well, where we had that almighty pile up uh, behind the safety car. Check out those videos if you haven't already. But um, yeah, this is from the same open lobby. So uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the aim of the game is really just to get everyone to the end of the race. Um, how we'll all do that, I, I don't really know, but uh, and simulation damage will certainly wipe out a few contestants. But I've got to say, everyone's doing a fantastic job so far. We've only lost one driver around Baku, where <laughs> you can see the walls are absolutely everywhere. There's nowhere to hide. Uh, when it comes to the barriers and also the other lunatics that you share the racetrack with. We've lost another driver. Jimmy Allen is out of here. We might lose a couple more here as we head into the castle section for the first time. Following very, very gingerly. Oh, we do have a pileup up here. I've got to stop because ghosting is also off. So for the first time, I think, in Formula 1 game history, we have a legitimate pileup at the castle section and... I, I honestly, I can't tell who's still in the race and who's not. Some of these cars that are actually destroyed are still going to be there until they disappear eventually once they retire. That guy is enjoying a nice mounting. But uh, we get through the carnage just about as that AI Understood. turned Stop across us. Map. But I have a feeling we'll need to make a pit stop in this race to change the front wing. We did get a little bit of damage in that, unfortunately. Looks like we've got another incident up here. Between the two Red Bulls. Oh! Nearly got wiped out there. Down to 15 runners. Um, that was a big, big shunt on the first lap of the castle section. You know, I've got to say, like, when you have ghosting on, that kind of ruins it, to be honest, because everyone can just go through and that that was literal carnage. Like, World War Three at the castle section. You love to see it. Um, with that said, we're now up in a P8. Um, just making the most of everyone's misfortune, I suppose. We do have a little bit of damage, which is holding us back a little bit. But we can still press on. We can get to a point where we can make a pit stop in the next couple of laps and then uh, change onto a new set of tyres. We will probably have to move that pit stop forward now. <laughs> now that I've lost the rest of my front wing. So like I said, I was still getting used to my brake pedal and... Uh, yeah, I think this is maybe my second day on F1 with uh, the new load cell pedal, so I'm still getting used to it, and um, yeah, my lack of, I don't know, muscle memory really caught me out there and we lost our wing. But we're going to move on. We're going to charge towards the front of the field and hopefully win this. What happened? Let me know you're okay. Oh. I am stupid. I am stupid. I turn everything off. Uh, Alright, here's the replay. <laughs> I'm shell shocked that that just happened. So, um, basically what happened here is heading into the braking zone. I didn't brake too late. What I did was, is I... I... I didn't hold the brake pedal for long enough. Uh, with my load cell pedal, it's all based on weight and pressure. And I just eased off my foot or the weight off of my brake pedal that little bit too early. And um, yeah, we just went in there with too much speed. It's very easy to do. It's very, very fine margins at the castle section at turn eight. And uh, that Toro Rosso was 
gone in worse than what I have. So we're down to uh, 13 runners uh, in this race. Honestly, I didn't think that I would be the one to crash on my own. But here we are. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh, I, I kind of want to follow on board for the rest of this race. and I'll just show you the highlights of uh, what happened for the rest of this. Because uh, there are still a lot more people who kind of blow up for the rest of this race. So we're going to follow on board with Rhythms F1, who is a fellow F1 YouTuber. You should go check him out. Make some pretty good videos. He is on the charge up against Nexus Aspect, and he moves himself up into P5. Or does he? No, he gets the Nico Rosberg treatment in its own one. And, uh, well, that's the end of his charge towards the front. We've got this uh, Racing Point who attempted to go in the pit lane 20 seconds ago. Um, spun around and then got teleported back onto the circuit. And so now he's having to do an entire lap with a puncture and no front wing with sim damage. So I really do feel for this poor soul. And that's not going to do the geometry of the car too well. But uh, that is going to be a very ginger lap to return to the pit lane. Rhythms is overshot at turn three. So it's, it's all kicking off here at Azerbaijan. Uh... <laughs> I, I'm kind of glad now that I crashed because I now get to see all of the carnage that unfolds. You can see our good friend Alpha Takei again does a reverse entry into a barrier. This time the barrier wins that arm wrestle. And uh, we're now left with seven drivers to contest the victory of this iconic survive Baku Grand Prix. The leaders are now in because we have a virtual safety car after Alpha Takei's uh, incident at the castle section. So, um, we kind of gave people a free pit stop. Uh, but we're heading towards the back end of the race now. And I actually scripted some rain to come down for the back end of this race as uh, one final twist to catch out some of these drivers to really, you know, shave off the, the population. Uh, in this race. We're now down to five five runners. I think the rain will probably force people onto intermediates. It, it, it might come in an awkward phase where some people might uh, opt to stay out on the dries if they really want to risk that track position. But Baku... Ooh. Four runners left. Baku is a place where it's very easy to overtake. So track position really doesn't mean much um, here. If anything, you want to be the car behind because of the slipstream. Um, that's how potent it is. Uh, but anyway, we have the race leader in. Gucci is in for his intermediate tyres. We've got Glock in the Ferrari about 20 seconds back. Is that Glock? It could be. We've got the right conditions for that. He stays out on slick tyres. So maybe it is Timo Glock. Oh, wait. No, he's in. Okay. Thanks, game, for tricking me. Um, right. Glock is in for intermediate tyres. Well... Um, we're rewriting history here, it seems, of 2008. Meanwhile, we've got Rhythms, who is in the middle sector, uh, basically on his own, a minute off the pace, and has to gingerly get back to the pit lane on his dry compound tyres. That is a brilliant helicopter shot of him going down the hill, nearly running into that outside barrier. It's absolutely treacherous conditions at this stage. The rest of the field, that being three drivers, are all on inters and Rhythms has to negotiate the final chicane, which has caught me out many a time with damage, but with low grip conditions, he actually gets through there fine. So fair play to Mr. Rhythms F1. He decides to carry on for another lap on the dry tyres. So it seems we do have a Timo Glock here on our hands. Will it decide a championship today? Probably not, as he overshoots again. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, Rhythms, what are you doing, fella? You are... Uh, I, I admire your bravery to stick it out there on the dry tyres. But uh, in the end, it is going to be the intermediate runners who are going to come through and claim supremacy here in Azerbaijan. Rhythms is gone again, but Gushi wins. Survive Baku. In the end, it's going to be four drivers who have survived the conditions and three drivers who have survived the conditions, survived the damage and survived the other lunatics on their way to claiming glory at this racetrack. <laughs> Baku never fails to deliver, uh, I've got to say, especially in the online gaming world. 
of things. But that is not the only race we're going to do today, guys. We're going to move on to uh, Singapore, another circuit which is um, highly viable for creating pile-ups. So uh, we'll, we'll see how it works out for us today. We are starting a little further down a field, so we'll have to negotiate a few drivers. But I want to make some amends after Baku. Um, I, I don't like the fact that I was just knocked out after three laps. I have to... I have to bounce back with a vengeance. And you guys have to see me race on the F1 game again. It's been... It's been too long. But anyway, turn one. Uh, pretty safe for us. We were pretty much on our own here in the midfield. And so we're just going to pick our way through if we can. Nearly got uh, sideswiped by the Tour Rosso on the run through the first sector. We've now got Rhythms right in front of us. Let's hopefully nab the slipstream of the Red Bull in front and cruise past him. We could even get a double overtake here if we were game enough, but no. With simulation damage, to be honest, it's not really worth the risk just to get the position. It's a long race, 15 laps. Singapore is one of the longest Grand Prix on the calendar as my El Gato decides to poop itself. But uh, we're fine. Rhythms gets us back. Um, so yeah, even though we've, we're actually falling down the order now, I've still got confidence that we can fight our way back through the field. Because um, a safety car could just about any moment be right around the corner. As we negotiate a bit of an incident here in Sector 3. We get past Rhythms again. The weather as well for this race has been scripted once again. So doing my best Arab impression today. We're going from uh, dry conditions okay, to full ten. wet conditions by race end. So we should possibly see two pit stops. Uh, depending on people's reluctancy to switch to full wets from intermediates so whether people go from dries to wets or go dries inters then wets I don't really know how it's all going to play out but um, there is still a lot that is yet to unfold in this Singapore Grand Prix we now run in P6 not the fastest up of the race but uh, we'll keep chipping away at that if we can we are on the right tyre though the medium to get to a point where maybe the rain will start to fall so those who started on softs, unlucky, but you're probably going to have to make a pit stop at some stage. We've now got Flying Jibbo right in front of us. He's got some front wing damage, and we fly past him. No, we don't. He's still there <laughs> into the top five. Thank you very much. I don't think I've got any penalties at this, this stage. We've got uh, strict corner cutting oh, rules on as well, so that also can catch people out. So again, the race may not be decided on track it uh, could well be decided in the stewards room with uh, a whole shed load of time penalties added on to those who are not respectful of the track limits but now it's pit stop time we've actually survived past uh, the lap three point in a race which I'm very happy about we're going on to the intermediate tires and uh, how long it'll be before we switch on to wets Probably not long, but I thought I'd be on the uh, aggressive side of switching to the intermediate tyres. DRS hasn't been disabled just yet, but it's a long lap at Singapore, so you don't really want to get caught out on the wrong tyre. And judging by the DRS getting disabled right now, um, you would say that we probably made the right call there. So very, very happy with that. So uh, hopefully we can charge towards the leaders as we absolutely bottle the middle sector. So my race is now... Down the track. No, it's not! We're back in the game, baby! Yeah. The game changer right there, boys. Keep it positive to avoid a penalty. <laughs> We're back in it, boys. We are back in it indeed. Wow! My mistake has turned into me saving my own race. I can't believe that. We're back in the game now. We could. Oh, there's so many things we could do. We could pit for wets right now as I bang my knee on the table. Thanks for that, Ben. Really appreciate it. But um, we're racing the Mercedes as he exits the pit lane. We need to get in front of him because he's a slow AI car. And we do. On the podium now. We could see the rain getting worse in around five minutes. Heavy rain on its way. Inters look like the best time for now. But uh, judging by the forecast, ooh, I don't know. I feel like it might not be viable going to the wet tyres. I feel like in many scenarios, pitting for wets... Um, I don't know, even in wet conditions, the Inters are still a good tyre. And, <clears throat> you know, those conditions are still a good five minutes away. 
So you could struggle it out now on wets and probably not even get the track position back. My chance to stand on the podium with Ben. Come on, boys. So, I don't know. If it is diabolical, I'll pit when it's actually adequate for wets. But right now, I'm happy with intermediate tyres. It might just be the, the best way to win this race is, is just to stay out on the intermediate tyres on a wet track. Um, because, yeah, even if we do catch up to the leaders again on wet tyres, there's no guarantee we could overtake them. So I just feel like this is the best way forward. Okay, let's get ready to go racing. Let's go, boys. Take the car in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember, there is no overtaking until the green flags. Safety car in this lap. Everyone's about to witness World War Three in this F1 lobby. Uh, mate. Did you not see the last race? We already had World War Three at the castle section. This is now going to be World War Four, as we have Singapore in heavy rain conditions, a lot of drivers on inters. Is there anyone at the back on wet tyres about to steal this race? I bloody hope not. Away we go for the restart of the Singapore Grand Prix. And already we are under pressure into turn one. We do weather that storm. No pun intended. It's even storming today here in the UK. Took a step outside and nearly got blown into Africa. So that was fun. Anyway, back to the virtual world. And we are chasing down IRL Neon for the victory of the Singapore Grand Prix. Let's uh, hopefully do this. It seems to be pretty uh, competent in terms of uh, pace. So this certainly won't be easy. And, and it won't be easy to get the overtake done anyway. We're running with a high downfall setup. I think seven, ten wings. So we're not going to be overly potent on the straights. We're going to have to get this done in the corners. Which uh, is always very tricky. But I don't know. Hopefully the extra downforce can give us the confidence we need um, in the rain. So we'll see how it all unfolds for us. The heavy rain still hasn't really hit yet. It's going to hit in about a minute or two. So keep an eye out for that. Already struggling through the final corner. A bit of oversteer there. Uh, I am running with uh, an aggressive, kind of dry setup, so hopefully it's not too bad for us as the weather uh, progressively gets worse. But you can see here, it's just a, it's a bit of a stalemate at this stage. Can't really get any closer to IRL Neon. Oh, come on. No. And P3 has just blown up behind us, so that is very unfortunate. Goodbye to the Flying Jippo. This three-horse race now turns into a two-horse race. It is Ferrari... V McLaren to find out the victory. It's been a long time since these two teams have duked it out for a win. That's uh, on the gaming side, we can make it happen. Again, not a great exit out of the uh, hairpin on the back straight, so uh, that's not an opportunity for us to overtake. We're pretty good in sector three, but you know, overtaking here is just not viable. There's no way we really can dive as we uh, run into the back of the Ferrari. We now got yellow front wing damage, which is now going to set us back in the corners but you know i got to i've got to keep thinking positively like you can see he's struggling ever more as the the conditions worsen so i'm hoping that he just continues to struggle more and more and then we can have an opportunity i've tried to fake him into pitting for wets oh i'm not going to pit for wets at this stage even if you know the the track becomes goes underwater i'm still not pitting for wets I want the track position here at Singapore. It means absolutely everything. Just over two laps to go in this race. Now we have a three second time penalty. You can see I'm now starting to get a bit more adventurous with my lines to try and get closer to this guy. He's still not really cracking at this stage, which is uh, making life very, very difficult. So fair play to IRL Neon. We just need to continue to keep him under pressure. He seems to be weak at the Anderson Bridge. Can we go for a dive? Oh no, that's a bit of oversteer. And now we've got Fred front wing damage. Oh, now the whole wing is gone. Wonderful. So, okay, that's RIP to our race. Unless Neon literally crashes out now. Oh, we are not going to win this Singapore Grand Prix. I'm staying out because I don't want to pit for wets. I don't want to change the front wing. Um, I think my, my logic here is if I stay out, at least if I'm here, albeit 5, 10 seconds back, at least I can still put that little bit of pressure on him into making a mistake. But in the end, he never made a mistake. 
and uh, the Ferrari goes on to win in Singapore Grand Prix. It will still be P2 for us at the end of the day, but I I'm so mad that I threw that one away. Even Jeff is speechless. He doesn't want to talk to me after that performance. But there we go, guys. That has been this video for today. The first one on F1 2019 in what has been a solid two weeks. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more racing game content. And if you are worried um, about the lack of F1 content, that is going to be a thing of the past because now as the F1 season starts to roll in again, I'll uh, hopefully upload a bit more F1 stuff um, in the coming weeks, days, months on the lead up to F1 2020. But uh, at the same time, I still intend to finish off my Toka Race Driver series, which you should definitely check out by the way. And uh, also give the Gran Turismo videos a bit of a go as well. Have a lot of fun racing the online side of those things. But with all that said, thank you so much for watching. I'll probably get into another F1 open lobby at some point very soon. So follow me on Twitter if you want to get involved. Until the next one, I'll see you next time.